Hi, we're, we're Team K. K. Today we're here to see Scream. That's right, the horror movie. We're here because of T-Mobile Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> Why not go make a review about the movie, right? Why not? Fun fact, guys. I hardly remember the movie Scream. Like, I know of it. I'm pretty sure I've seen the first one back in like 19, what, 1994, 96? Who knows? Yeah, 19, like one of those. <laughs> I've definitely seen it. But I remember the Scream villain the most from Scary Movie with the Waynes Brothers. <laughs> you know, going, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's where my memories come from. I know this is not the parody movie. I know this is the horror franchise. <laughs> Maybe I should have watched the one through four before I saw this movie. But hey, here we are. Yeah, I need a refresher course. I've seen one and two, definitely. I don't know if I've seen the second one or the third one or the fourth one. <laughs> I know I've seen the first one and I've seen scary movies, which has nothing to do with this movie. But let's get into the review. Let's go. So we just got finished watching Scream. There we go, because I forgot the name of the movie. Bruh. <laughs> so we just got finished watching Scream. Yes. This is the fifth Scream in the franchise, movie-wise. Yeah. What kind of baby is that just right now? Because I only saw one and two. I didn't know there was a three and four and, well, this one. So I really don't, and I don't remember the, the, the first two succinctly, but Bear with us, okay? <laughs> We're gonna go home and watch one and two. Just a, or, and three and four. Yeah, three and yeah. four of them. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna watch those. So like I said, guys, in the beginning of this video, I remember Scream. I know I've seen one. I've probably seen two, <laughs> probably, but I know I didn't see three and four. I know I didn't. And I remember Scary Movies, Scary Movie with the Wayne Brothers way more than the actual Scream movies. Those but after cool. watching this movie, it made me want to go back and rewatch the franchise. Like, I enjoyed this movie a whole lot. This movie was good. The story, no spoilers yet. We're gonna do a spoiler section later. We'll tell you when the spoilers are coming up. The story was simple. I'm not gonna say anything to ruin it. It's another killer trying to re-imitate what the original screen killer did from the first movie. So that's the premise of the story of this movie. And yeah, you get to see the returning characters that was in the first ones. I guess, like I said, I didn't see four, three, <laughs> two, maybe. But yeah, but you get to see re reoccurring faces. And there was a guy in this movie. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna get a picture and put him up on the screen somewhere. He looked exactly like Fred from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> he did. <laughs> like Seriously. guys, if you ever look at somebody and see a character and you be like, wow, he looks exactly like that character, this guy, like really you can't does. unsee it once I probably tell you about it. <laughs> really he looks exactly like Fred. I forgot his name in the movie, but I just couldn't get it. Like every time I saw him, I'm like go 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 solve up to it. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Where's the mystery machine? <laughs> but yeah, tell us your thoughts on the movie. Like, tell us your thoughts. Well, I really I did enjoy the beginning. It was, it was like action, suspense, I love that. I thought it was going to be more scary than what it originally was, because of, you know, the, the previews or the trailers. I really thought it was going to be way, way, way more scary, but it actually wasn't. It was kind of chill, you know? But um, I did like, it's really the action, the action-y scene, the more suspenseful things. I, I liked it. It was pretty good. It, it was sprinkles throughout the movie, so can't say more because I don't want to spoil anything. We'll get into a spoiler section <laughs> in a bit. Yeah. But yeah guys, we enjoyed this movie mm -hmm. for what it was. I I'm not going to lie, I went into the movie thinking it was going to be a bad movie. I was thinking it was going to be meh, just okay, just like another splasher movie. But I really enjoyed this movie. I'm surprised about that. I'm surprised how much I did enjoy this movie. Made you a, did it make you a fan? No, I think I was, I was 
it made me want to go and rewatch the other movies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it made me want to go back because they yeah. were talking about things and it seemed interesting and people's they're connected by family and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you know, the drama and history, I'm like, I kinda wanna take a sneak peek. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely might go rewatch the movie. So hey, let's hurry up and give our rating for the non-spoiler part. So what do you want to rate this movie? Or do you got anything else you want to say? No, nothing else that I want to say. I'm gonna spoil myself. Okay, so <laughs> we rate movies <laughs> one to ten. Yes. Food we rate one through five. So what's your rating of I was about to say scary movie. Bruh. What's your rating of Scream? <laughs> Scream for me, it would be um, a five. I'm a give five, a five out of ten? Five out of ten. Okay. Yeah. T's rating is a five out of ten, guys. I maybe it's because of my age or maybe because of the time. I don't know, because before when I watched one and two, all those many, 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 many years ago, it scared the mess out of me. This time it didn't really. It was almost like I was watching something on, I don't know, No, guys, HBO. I, I ruined her. I got her too used to Japanese horror movies. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but it didn't, it didn't shock me. It didn't scare me. I ruined her. Yeah, I'm ruined now. Asian, Asian horror movies are <laughs> for real. That's the thing, really. But um, honestly, I, I expected to be more scared than I originally was. I, and I was like, eh, watch so something. You, so you cable. taking off points because it didn't scare you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not shook it. Ooh, you hear that, guys? I'm not, I'm not She shooketh. wasn't scared enough. Yeah, sorry. Watch, the ghost face is gonna give her a phone call real soon. <laughs> That's the only reason why, honestly, that I'm giving it a five, because I expected, you know, what I expected, which was to be shooketh. I should have been, oh, oh, jumpy. You know, I didn't jump, not once. And that's, that's weird for me. It's being a scary movie and all. Just being screaming and everything. I enjoyed the movie. It surprised me. I like how they handle things, which I'm gonna get to in spoiler section right after my rating. My rating is a seven. Mm -hmm. Cosmo's getting scream. I still want to say scary movie. No. <laughs> Cosmo's <laughs> giving scream a seven out of ten. Wow. I enjoyed it. I think it's a good movie. And wow. yeah. I would recommend that you go watch it if you like horror movies or if you've definitely seen any of the screams. Even the yeah. TV show. Brush up. It. Brush up before you go and watch this. Like, you know? Yeah, definitely. You you probably I know the screen fans will enjoy this more if they seen one through four. Yeah. So yeah. If you haven't seen one through four, definitely watch it. Yeah. To enjoy it a little bit more. Exactly. Maybe if I seen one through four, I probably would have gave it an eight. Wow. Maybe. Cool. All right, now guys, I wanna talk about spoilers. Okay. So guys, if you haven't seen the movie yet or you care about about the movie being spoiled, if you care about the movie being spoiled. All leave. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is your chance to leave right now. Yes. Because I want to talk about some spoiler section. So here we go. Spoiler section. Dewey. <laughs> I did not want Dewey to die. In me the either. <laughs> me either. That was sad. That yeah. was sad for me. Yes. I did not want him to die. He's been in all of them, I'm sure. I really wanted him to live throughout the movie. I say he went out. He, he went out. He went out kind of cool I guess trying to protect the new characters and get them out of there but mm -hmm. yeah I, I wanted him to make it I did too I really did because Dewey's been from for me from the, from the inception you know so I I really didn't want to lose him I felt I felt that I felt horrible actually I didn't cry or anything but I still didn't like it it was a lot of gore in it Dewey what? needs to learn people need to learn mm -hmm. that bullets travel how he died in the movie he died because he walked right in front of Ghostface and was gonna shoot him in the head <laughs> him or her in the head <laughs> he should have stood where he was when he got off the elevator yeah. <laughs> and shot the gun it was gory I seen um who was getting who got killed many people got killed no in the no whole movie. with the neck thing that the one that freaked me out Fred yeah Fred we gonna we call, call him Fred. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> <What's Scooby -Doo? laughs> Sorry how we just named people, but yeah, Fred. That was that was that 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 made me twitch a little bit because that was nasty. I seen it go all the way in and come all the way out. That was disgusting. Oh, oh yeah, before Fred's death. Mm. That's not his actual name in the movie, but we yeah. call him Fred because he looks like Scooby Doo. Um, before Fred's death, I loved how they build up the tension. I thought that was very clever yeah. before they did it because. Fred kept opening doors, yeah, and the music will tense up. You know, like horror movie movie. It was like, mm -hmm. eh, 
And then it, it was like they were psyching you out. They psyched you out three times. He opened the refrigerator door, mm -hmm, cabinet, closed the door. He wasn't behind the ghost face. Wasn't the killer wasn't behind the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. He opened up a cabinet. He yeah. wasn't behind the cabinet. He opened up another door. Mm -hmm. He wasn't behind the door, and he disappeared. I like yeah. that. That was cool. Yeah, it was a, it was a good tension builder. <laughs> that, I think that was one of my most favorite fun. moments in that movie. Yeah. Like how they kept psyching you out during that part. That was cool. I did like like at the beginning that was that was tension worthy, you know, because in the beginning the girl she was um, on the phone with her friends and I think her sister's boyfriend or somebody called something. And no, she she thought it was her. Yeah, she thought. Her yeah. friend's boyfriend. Yeah, her sister's boyfriend. Yeah, she thought. It was yeah, she him. thought, but, but it, it was, was actually Ghostface. The Ghostface. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I thought how that played out was really cool. It was really savvy. I like that. And then, well, it wasn't him. It wasn't him. And she was talking to her best friend at the time, and he infiltrated her best friend's phone and was um, showing pictures of her best friend, things like that. It, it was just so cool how it was playing out. Like, I didn't know where he was actually at. And then when she opened the door, thinking that um, to save her friend, he was actually right there and doing a stat thing. But she lived, so happy day. I liked what they did in the movie. Throughout the whole movie, they was talking about, they was, they was breaking the fourth wall without breaking the fourth wall. So I was like, that's a, 3D, a third dimension fourth wall break. <laughs> what I mean by that is, like, like I said in the beginning of the uh, review, the killer is imitating previous killings from the first movie, mm -hmm. and they don't like how the movies ended up, so they're trying to make the first movie over. <laughs> and but they was make they was talking about. The movie in the movie in the movie it was but cool without talking about the movie yeah <laughs> <laughs> like they called it stab yeah I, I, like I said guys don't don't be mad at me in the comments because I didn't watch all other ones so I don't know if that's <laughs> in the other ones if they yeah. if, if there was always a stab movie I think but so. they were referring to stab and we all know stab is scream so they was talking about scream by calling it stab and I thought that was cool. When the, the, the girl with the curly hair, she kept saying, oh, this is the protagonist, the antagonist, and things like that. Yeah, I think she was had, breaking they, it down. She was breaking it down to who's who in that's playing now in the movie that we were watching. She was like, oh, well, you're the protagonist. You're the antagonist. And the, she was just pointing out these, the certain, I guess, I don't know how you say it, characteristics. Ca characters. Characters. Yeah. In, in the story. It, yeah. In the movie. In the movie. It was like a movie in a movie <laughs> in a movie. And they was talking about how um, movie companies just cash grab. Mm -hmm. They don't care about the fans <laughs> and things like that. I loved all that, all the references yeah. in this movie. I appreciated everything in this movie. <laughs> and they did it throughout the whole entire movie, basically. Another part is when they met Dewey for the first time, like when the girl came and was asking for Dewey for help. <laughs> and he was like, there's three things, three things. He said, don't trust anyone. Yeah. It's always in your friend's group. So and it's a boyfriend, something. It's always a lover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said that in the beginning of the movie, okay. and guess what? He was right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, oh, you know, before that, guys, I love, like, detective shows and anime, stuff like that, mysteries. I saw the movie before the movie revealed mm -hmm. who the culprit was, right? So yeah, you did. Yeah, he said I it. told her, like, mm -hmm. somewhere mid before way before they revealed yeah i told her there was two killers yeah <laughs> and i said one was the boyfriend yeah i didn't know who the second one was but yep. I, I knew the boyfriend was the killer and now i'm five dollars no she owe me lunch she's buying me lunch after this right now she's buying me lunch she's paying for it what was your most gruesome death in the movie let's get gruesome death what was the worst the worst one it was in a good way it had to be the neck one. I, it's still, I'm still. Yeah, Yeah, the neck, it did it for me. You know, I don't like neck things, you know? And it was just like how it went in, mm -hmm. all slow, and then it, oh, I can't. Mm -mm. I'm gonna I'm give it to Fred. I'm gonna give it to Fred too. Yeah. With the neck thing, I'm gonna give it to Fred. Mm. But an honor, honorable mention <sighs> with the killing scene was the girl in the kitchen where they, they she turned on the stove by accident. And they shot that girl up, <laughs> and then she <laughs> fell on the stove and got her face lit up. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess let's give a play of the game. Play of the game kill team was the guy, the boyfriend. 
She stabbed him. Oh, up. yeah. She, oh, <laughs> she yeah. Got on top she of said him. something real cool. <laughs> She's like, this is just, this is. Yeah, she, she was, wouldn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> she was, that was, that was pure hatred then right she there. She got a gun and shot him like three or four times. Yeah. She was <laughs> and angry. Then, and once in the head. Yeah, she was real angry. <laughs> she was real angry. And she was like, she was like, um, don't F with a serial killer's daughter. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. I was like, well, gosh dang. She, she, he got lit up. Seriously. Uh -huh. Uh, that was gruesome. <laughs> One more part where the cop, the um, Fred's mother, she was a sheriff, right? Yeah. She was rushing back because Ghostface told her that he was about to kill her son. Mm -hmm. So she was rushing back, right? One thing I didn't like, I can understand that she was probably hectic and probably rushing, mm -hmm. but she's a cop. She got out the car and just ran to the house. I would have got out the car with my gun, held it, <laughs> and ran to the house. Mm -hmm. She ran empty handed and got stabbed. I like that's yeah. dumb. That yeah. was dumb. But I can understand some people probably yeah. don't think in the heat of the moment. Yeah, it's their mother thing. But not me. Yeah. I would have been strapped. <laughs> <laughs> I would have ran to that house strapped. Indeed. But definitely go check this movie out. If you've seen this movie, be sure to tell us in the comments below what was your favorite death scene. Yeah. Did anything gross you out, creep you out? Yeah. Make you jump? Did you like it? I actually jumped in the movie. It got what? me. It got me. Where? I forgot what part. I think it was the part with um Fred. Oh. I think it was because of all the fake outs. Mm -hmm. They faked me oh. out too much. It was like, we, we're going to get you. No, we're not. We're going to get you. No, we're not. We're going to get you. No, we're Psych. not. <laughs> <laughs> I think it got me. Oh. So yeah, leave a comment down below. Let us know if you enjoyed the movie. Yeah. Do you agree with our, our score? T gave it five. a 5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Kazuma's giving it a 7 out of 10. Do you agree with us? Mm. Uh, let us know in the comments. Tell us. Let's talk. Let's have a real um, conversation. Exactly. We respond to all our comments. We do. We read all our comments. Tell them. See, they don't think you read it. Tell them. I read it. I read them. <laughs> and I respond. Okay? Yes. So you want to interact you. with us? Post down in the comments. That's Please all. like the video. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll give you another movie review soon. Like, comment, and subscribe. That's right. And hit the bell notification. It'll keep you updated to every time we post. Yes. So be sure to do that, it helps. And don't forget to watch us grow. Bye bye. <sighs> Where'd this boy go? He just got out the movies and he just jetted. Oh, my phone is ringing. Who the hell? How the hell? What's up? Boy, if you don't stop playing with me, this is not a scary movie. Bye.